Hello there. Welcome to the first lesson of our five-part lesson on whole numbers. In today's lesson, we'll revise basic operations in binary systems, convert binary numbers to other bases, and vice versa. Are you ready? Then let's begin. In our previous lesson in GSS1, we had learned how to add, subtract, and multiply binary numbers. Let's quickly have a recap on the rules involved in each operation. For addition, 0 plus 0 is equal to 0. 0 plus 1 is equal to 1. 1 plus 0 is equal to 1. And lastly, 1 plus 1 equals to 1, 0. Next, subtraction. 1 minus 0 is equal to 1. 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. 0 minus 0 is equal to 0. 0 minus 1 is 1. Lastly, we'll look at the rules for multiplication. 0 times 0 is equal to 0. 0 times 1 equals to 0. 1 times 0 is equal to 0. And 1 times 1 equal to 1. We had also learned how to convert base 10 numbers to binary and vice versa. Now, let's learn how to convert binary numbers to other bases and vice versa. To convert binary numbers to numbers in other bases, the following steps must be taken. 1. Convert the binary number to base 10 number. 2. Convert the base 10 number in step 1 to the required base. All right, let's look at some examples. Convert 1100 base 2 to base 3 numbers. Can you remember the first step that we must take? Yes, we convert 1100 base 2 to base 10. Convert 1011 base 2 to base 3 numbers. Can you remember the first step that we must take? Yes, we convert 1011 base 2 to base 10. Remember, to convert base 2 numbers to base 10, we multiply each of its digits by 2. That's the base. Power them, then add the result. 1011 base 2 would then be equal to 1 times 2 raised to power 3 plus 0 times 2 raised to power 2 plus 1 times 2 raised to power 1, plus 1 times 2 raised to power 0. That will be equal to 1 times 8, plus 0 times 4, plus 1 times 2, plus 1 times 1, which is equal to 8 plus 0 plus 2 plus 1, and it's equal to 11 base 10. Therefore, 1, 0, 1, 1 base 2 is equal to 11 in base 10. What's the next step after this? Correct. We convert 11 in base 10 to base 3. Let's get our ladder ready like this. Then we slot in our divisor, which is 3 when converting to base 3, and the dividend, which in this case is 11. 11 divided by 3 is 3 remainder 2. 3 divided by 3 is 1 remainder 0. Then we bring down our divisor 3. Since 1 cannot divide 3, we write 0 and put the remainder of 1. And we are done. Now we write the remainders from the bottom to the top to get the base 3 equivalent of the decimal number. In this case, 11 base 10 is equal to 102 in base 3. Therefore, 1011 base 2 is equal to 11 in base 10, which is now equal to 102 in base 3. Let's try another example. Convert 1566 base 8 to binary. To convert 1566 base 8 to binary, you can first convert 1566 base 8 to decimal, then convert the decimal to binary. Can you give it a try? Solve it in a paper first and keep your answer. Then you compare your answers 
as I teach you an alternative approach to it. Numbers in base 8 are closely related to binary numbers. We can easily convert each digit in base 8 to its 3-digit binary equivalent as seen in the table. 1 is represented as 001, 5 is represented as 101, 6 is represented as 110, and finally the last 6 which is represented as 110 as well. Therefore, 1566 base 8 will be equal to 11011101110 base 2. Have you gotten the same answer as the one on the screen? Excellent! Well done! Let's try one more example. Convert 131 base 6 to binary. To do this, we first convert 131 base 6 to a number in base 10. 131 base 6 is equal to 1 times 6 raised to power 2 plus 3 times 6 raised to power 1 plus 1 times 6 raised to power 0, which will be equal to 1 times 36 plus 3 times 6 plus 1. 36 plus 18 plus 1 will give us 55 base 10. Now, let's convert 55 base 10 to binary. Let's get our ladder ready, like this. Then we slot in our divisor, which is 2, when converted to base 2, and the dividend, which in this case is 55. 55 divided by 2 is 27 remainder 1. 27 divided by 2 is 13 remainder 1. 13 divided by 2 is 6 remainder 1. 6 divided by 2 is 3 remainder 0. 3 divided by 2 is 1 remainder 0. We then bring down our divisor 2. Since 1 cannot divide 2, we write 0 and put the remainder of 1. And we are done. Now we write the remainders from the bottom to the top to get the base 2 equivalent of the decimal number. In this case, 55 base 10 is equal to 110111 in base 2. Therefore, 131 base 6 is equal to 55 base 10, which is equal to 110111 base 2. Good job for following to the end of the lesson. I hope you enjoy the lesson. Today, we revised some basic operations in binary and also learned how to convert binary to other bases and vice versa. See you in the next lesson. Bye-bye.